Hey everyone, my name is Matt Saletti and I'm here to give you a quick walkthrough of how to use Complete Control Mark II inside of Logic. Basically with the new Complete Control Mark II you have way more control and easier hands-on control from the keyboard to control your DAW project. It's very, very nice. So, first thing we'll do is kind of walk you through how to set it up. I had this idea to do an elaborate explanation, but the long and short of it is you install Complete Control, you open up Logic for the first time, and you hit OK. It's basically working immediately. There's nothing you really have to set up. It's pretty much dummy proof, which is a beautiful thing. So let's go ahead. I have a quick little template loaded up here. Let's go ahead and load an instance of complete control and find a sound. This is obviously very easy to do from the browser. I start with 42,000 some presets. <laughs> How am I going to whittle that down very easily with these beautiful new screens to kind of see exactly what I need. So we'll load up Massive, which of course comes free with your Complete Control keyboard because it has Complete 11 Select. And let's find some bowed strings, and now I have 13 results. So really cool, you can hear all these presets with the native sound browser without even loading them now. So I get an idea immediately if this is something I'm gonna wanna use. And of course, once you load it, everything is controllable. from the keyboard immediately, multiple pages, easy to navigate, beautiful stuff. So let me go ahead and turn on some smart play features. Of course, let's load a chord set to get some beautiful chords. All right, now what I wanna show you is how easy it is to kind of control the DAW. So first thing we might wanna do is turn on my loop range, just do a quick four bar loop. We're gonna hit uh, the metronome, make sure that's on. And then we wanna make sure we're able to tap a tempo in. So we'll hit yes, and then let's get something going. 94 works for me. We'll hit record, which will give us a count in. And we're off and running. Now, if we look at the region, we can even make sure to quantize everything immediately. Let's just select the notes, hit quantize, and then I am locked into the groove just how I need. And of course, from here, we can enable automation and actually do something like a filter suite, maybe. Very simple and easy. Now, looking at the next part, this Four-way directional encoder is amazing. It's kind of like a joystick meets an encoder, or a joy coder, if you will. So you can click down now and navigate through different instances of your Logic template project. So, for instance, let's go ahead and load up another sound real quick. And of course, all of your NKS libraries are in here. Maybe I want to load a third-party library. You still have that great sound preview. You still have all your favorites you can load immediately. And of course you have instant control. Beautiful thing. Now, I can take advantage of the Smart Play features again. And in fact, I can go ahead and, since Repro doesn't, maybe, or this synth does, but maybe your favorite synth doesn't have an arpeggiator or something, you can go ahead and load it up. Very easy. And of course you have many detailed options you can do on these arpeggiators. Very simple. Now, I got this track going and it's a little loud, so now we can go in into the mixer. And actually control the DAW right from the controller keyboard. So balance your levels right away. If you want, you hold shift and up. And now I can adjust the panning as well. get everything dialed in a little easier. Now, we'll just come back. I'll put this in MIDI mode and go to the next track, which is an instance of Alchemy. So of course, 
Complete Control can be an amazing controller keyboard. So let's go ahead and just quickly map some smart controls to give you an idea of what you can do here. So let's go ahead and maybe learn something. For instance, maybe I want to learn the cutoff knob here. Very simple, or the resonance, etc. And of course, you can save these as templates later on as well. And of course, don't forget that the Complete Control now has physical mod wheel and pitch wheel. Which is very helpful. And of course, they haven't gotten rid of the touch strips altogether. There's now one touch strip where you can do some really interesting stuff. For instance, like map this to XY pad or something. Let's see how that goes. So you have more and more control over your logic instruments as well. And then lastly, I'm going to show you, I have an instance of machine actually loaded in here. And this is an amazing thing without even having my machine plugged in, I still have total control over my machine instance. So for instance, maybe I want to come to the group level and browse for a drum kit. Let's go ahead. Let's go find a favorite over here and immediately I can start playing. I can come in, create new patterns, adjust the length of them, whatever I like, add multiple tracks inside of machine, mute and solo, just as I could in the regular. And you also have this key mode here, which will allow you to basically take your machine group and map it out to the keys on the keyboard. So now we could just come in and actually create right along the Control things from inside of machine or bounce out to mini mode and control the project, entire project of logic. Very quick, very easy, no setup at all. Just get in there and start playing with your logic projects in a brand new way. Cheers.